The Pallium Project has evolved into one of Canada's most robust examples of a community of practice. COPS are collaborations of people who share specific interests and practices and work together to advance their specific area of practice. A COP reflects a long tradition of working together in Canada among neighbours and within communities to share resources, energies and efforts in mutual interdependence of common goals. It reflects a great paradox of our times. The simple idea of diligently working together to reframe the complicated question of how can we afford to provide services to an aging population into one which enables us to navigate the complexity of ensuring that systems of care are available when patients and families need them. In this report back to stakeholders, several collaborators in project activities share insights about the project's work results to date, and the difference it is making. It is the people who work with these initiatives, who are at ground zero, so to speak, who will perhaps tell you if they haven't yet how it has touched them, how it has enhanced their opportunities for career development, how it has stimulated their minds, sharpened their competencies, enabled them to provide better service. With the resources that Pallium brought, uh, it, it started to bring people together uh, more frequently and often to discuss uh, issues around education and innovation and in palliative care that we never had the opportunity to do nearly as frequently before. We've gotten to know people across all Western Canada. It's been a huge link. I think it's probably helped to join the palliative care world and for us to realize what a small world that really is, but how similar we all are. Pallium is, is a key leadership piece and a key support piece to helping us do the work that we need to do, and I can tell you we are desperate for it. I'm also excited because I learn out of all this. You know, um, medicine doesn't prepare you for anything other than clinical care of a patient. That's the formal way medicine has been structured in the past. But when you get out into the real world, there's a heck of a lot more to it than that. And I think pallium was really important in, in kind of opening my eyes to that. So I've spent 22 years as a maternity nurse, and I can tell you that we were never given this advantage in a maternity rural setting. So to move into a palliative setting and be given these tools and these opportunities is amazing. While we got involved in that because we're just passionate and believe so strongly in it and want to make it happen, has just had tremendous um, benefits to the organization that I work for and in terms of its profile and recognition and, and leadership responsibilities. So that, that's been a wonderful outcome. I think it was quite visionary because I, I didn't, uh, to be honest, before Michael and Jose kind of got this going, I, I didn't really appreciate that, A, the, the, the degree of the gap, and B, the mechanisms by which that could be addressed. For a number of us who are in leadership roles in palliative care in BC, I think it's probably caused us to look at how we are organized and how we can move ahead perhaps more synergistically for change. The project has challenged us to think about how can we be more effective in doing the work we're doing and how can we more effectively help to change the practice of those around, around us. So rather than being frustrated and 
and feel that we're not making a difference. I think it's challenged us to think about how we can do that more effectively. It's generated quite a bit of discussion in my own uh, profession to begin with, and uh, quite a bit of interest in, in, uh, in uh, some of the others. All of the facilitators that I've worked with have also told the group that they're with is, we all learn. Every weekend that we teach, we learn. Mm -hmm. And so that, I think it reinforces that it's a never-ending learning piece. They've been a wonderful resource to rural areas, for sure, and wonderful for the networking um, coordinators as well, because it certainly has given us tools uh, to go out into our rural areas. We feel more confident in our ability to teach about palliative care. There was just an amazing kind of coming together of energies where this project showed up at a time where people needed to hear the information. We had just so many different uh, grieving processes and loss processes that were being supported in community while learning at the same time. Just bringing people and leaders in the field together to create that kind of synergy and energy and commitment to working together is just significant. There's a lot of good energy here when you talk to people and there's a lot of things that other people are doing and you, you're wanting to kind of work with them. You don't want to work in silos. It takes perhaps one or two key people within a region feeling like they're alone in, in promoting this palliative care effort to a much more wider uh, group of people that are out there. We can learn so much more from each other. We can borrow from each other. We can share with each other. We can learn from each other. We can support one another. And Pallium has done great things for us. I think it's probably one of the best things that has happened to palliative care ever. Thank you.